I mentioned in the last session that though words that we use in today's Carnatic music like Swara, Shruti, Raga, Tala and many other words, these words though they are found in ancient texts, texts as old as two millennia ago, till the meanings of these words have probably subtly altered across the millennia, across the centuries because the, these words, these concepts were articulated in the context of a very different kind of music. The kind of music that was there two millennia ago when Natya Shastra was written or Naradiya Saksha was written where they talk of Swaras and Shrutis, um, that music was very different. One main feature of today's music is that what we spoke of as the Adhara Shatya, the tonic, the fundamental, that tonic is sounded throughout the performance as a constant reference point. The Adhara Shatya is heard constantly as a drone. Now, as I said, the tonic is important in all kinds of music, not just Indian because it is a tonic which actually resolves the tension that any musical movement creates. For instance, now this resolves the tension. Uh, as some people have observed, the Tonic, the tonic is actually a psychological state. Anybody listening to a piece of music will know when it has returned to the tonic. This is not the tonic. Da, 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 da. This is a tonic. Even an untrained ear will be able to make out when the tension, the musical tension gets released and that gets released when the movement returns to the tonic. In the case of Indian music, the tonic is constant reference point for music making even physically, not just as a psychological uh, entity. And this is achieved by the drone. And now I am going to introduce to you a very important character of uh, character in Carnatic music and that is the Tambura or the Tanpura. Tambura is how Carnatic musicians refer to this instrument. North Indians refer to it as Tanpura. And there are there is a difference between the North Indian drone and the South Indian drone. Now what is a drone, first of all? A drone, you can say when the AC is emitting this constant pitch, that is a drone. Uh, this is a drone. Anything that is happening at a constant pitch or that is unchanging by, metaf by metaphorical extension, that is also called a drone. For instance, you say, you can say that particularly boring lecture, you can say, oh, he, she was going on, she was droning on and on because that is monotonous without any change in the pitch. I only hope that I am not droning now. So, the point is, the drone is basically, in, in the context of music, a drone is, a, is a, a note or sometimes a chord which accompanies the entire piece of music. That is called a drone. And in the context of Indian music, 
the drone is always the adhara shadja the sa and we also have the panchama as we will see but the point of the drone is to actually be give us the adhara shadja physically for us to hear it all the time and this is provided by the tambura and by extension the tambura is also called a drone now as i said it's the adhara shadja that the tambura provides now what is the adhara shadja just to remind us is we have no absolute pitches in indian music there is no absolute sa or ri or ga once you fix the sa at any pitch at all then the rest of the scale is fixed for you sa this could be mesa or sa this could be mesa and depending on whichever i take as my adhara shadja adhara is the basic sa the rest of the music is the rest of the scale is constructed not only that it's on the basis of this sa that we are hearing all the time that we intone the other notes that we try to find the right pitch for the other notes so that is why the tambura is very important so suppose my adhara shadja is let me take a very very popular well known very simple beginners song composition in carnatic music um this varavina mrutu pani these are the words of this composition and it is in rag mohanam which we just saw in the last session so depending on the adhara shadja it will sound like this uh this is my adhara shadja uh varavina mrutu pani this is how it will sound if this is my sa Uh, now suppose I change the sa, adhara sa. Ah, uh, varavina, mridu pani. Or it could be varavina, mridu pani. It's the same composition, only because the adhara shadja has changed. The actual pitches that are used are different. so this is the idea of adhara shadja it is more than just the fact that it is you know the pitches are shifted here and there it really gives you the base an adhara the support for you to intone the other notes so when i hear my the adhara sa when i hear it i am able to intone the other pitches and that's why it is called adhara let us now look at the Ukeda Tanpura, a tambura. As you can see, it is this is the tambura that is uh, South Indian. It is made in a place called Tanjavur, so it's called the Tanjavur tambura or the Tanjore tan tambura. This is made entirely of wood. You have the resonating. Uh, the resonator here which is hollow carved out wood on which is mounted this long neck and this ends in these pegs on which the string is wound the string itself passes through two bridges on the tambura and we have four strings on the tambura and they are tuned like this the middle two strings give the adhara shadja that is the madhyam madhya sa sa or whatever is my pitch in in this i have my pitch is g for so that is what this tambura will be tuned to the middle two strings are tuned to the sa madhya sa 
the third string is tuned to the mandra sa the lower sa and the first string is tuned to pancha the fifth the pa and it is played like this and this is how it sounds there is a very very interesting and fascinating aspect of tambura and that is the the bridge here this bridge as you can see it has a curved surface it is slightly curved it is not straight it is not flat so because it is curved and the string passes over this curved surface the kind of harmonics it gives out is very different and if you will just watch and see what happens what is the role of these strings that is it is those are that are placed here these strings that are placed here they have a very very um, important role <coughs> just uh, listen to what happens as i drag the string across the bridge at one point the tambura will just come to life that string the sound and meeting from that plucked string will just gain a sudden many dimensions and it comes alive this is called the jiva this position this uh, the string that we place in a particular position on the bridge that is called the jiva now what happens here is actually to do with the physics of sound and harmonics and c v raman nobel laureate c v raman was one of the earliest persons to study this phenomenon and um, in fact an extract from his he he published a paper on this it's called on some indian stringed instruments and an extract from this paper is at uh, this link he pointed out that this the curved bridge of the tambura and the placing of this jiva strings uh, produce certain harmonics which are um, very interesting from the point of view of um, generally prevalent laws of sound now these are times when gadgets are replacing everything handmade and definitely tambura is handcrafted it is made by hand and now today we have many other gadgets that are uh, certainly more convenient to use than the tambura but definitely there are no substitute for a tambura now what i use in most of these sessions um this is an application which gives me the tambura um a close uh, an approximation of the tambura sound and uh, these are very useful for practice sessions and for short demos and this is the this is an application actually we have we also have uh, electronic gadgets which can give you pitches which can give you whatever pitch that you want something like this either the tambura itself or some electronic or an application like this this is an invariable part of carnatic music whatever it be whether it is a stage performance or whether it is um a practice session or whether it's a teacher teaching a student carnatic music or hindustani for that matter at at any any level of seriousness it needs this kind of a drone support for it to happen because as i mentioned the intonation of these other pitches of any pitch at all it is this that 
supports that. It is this that nourishes, that makes it possible. So if I know that this is my sa, if I am able to hear it, There's emergence that we seek with the Adharashtuti, with the Tambura. And this is the beginning of the association of Indian music with spirituality. There is a meditative quality to the attempt to intone against the background of the Tambura. This is what the tambura does and this is what, this is why the tambura is uh, an extremely important character in Carnatic music.